Hi guys, you're about to see a preview of my full-length course about just Boeing that's available exclusively on discoverdoublebase.com. So, let's uh, continue in the Charlie Parker territory and there's a melody I really like and it's Ornithology, Ornithology in G major. Let me play you the melody pizzicato first. One, two, three, four. I played only the first half of the melody. The second half is almost the same, just the ending is different. So when it comes to bowing, it's really good because we already have patterns grouped on a two string. They're grouped on a two string setup. So we don't really need to change the, the fingering, at least in my case, in those fingering. So we might just go with the steps we already talked about for the other melody. First, go with very simple alternate bowing. Etc. Second step, as we already talked, force yourself to use really maximum bow length and to use the maximum number of notes per bow stroke. One, two, three, four. By doing this, once again, you will highlight spots of the melody that are really nice and really optimal to slur. And then try to make a mix. Bring the tempo back, bring the tempo down, sorry. One, two, and try to mix them. Two, three, four. I can, I can control in real time what bow slur and what bow stroke I'm doing. So moderate tempo and you'll have in real time control over your bow direction and the points of slurring. One, two, three, four. And think about your left hand. Really focus on your left hand and the right hand will do the job naturally. One, two, three, etc etc now as we were saying about billy's bounce and charlie parker tunes especially when it comes to consecutive eighth phrasing, which is definitely the case in ornithology. Try to get control over the amount of swing feel you put in your eighth, even at moderate tempo, so that when, you ri when the tempo rises, you can feel the difference. So for instance, try to put yourself in between swing feel and even eight. First swing feel, then go full power even eight, and then try to put yourself in between. One, two, three, Four, swing, even eight, swing, even eight. Now do the same, but try to navigate in between and you'll see that it really makes sense. One, two, three, four. Still a little bit slow to get re to be really efficient, but as soon as you move the tempo up, you'll see the difference. For instance, let's play full swing at a higher tempo. One, two, 
Now let's play full even eight at the same tempo. One, two, one, two, three. Now let's play a mix of them. Like let's try to be a little bit in between. One, two, one, two, three. That's really where the, the juice of the swing lies. It's really between this real accentuated swing eight and between the even eight. And of course, let's not forget the accents on the two and four. And those can be accentuated at any tempo and at any swing eight feel. So now let's mix that swing eight feel with even eight feel, but really, really emphasizing on the accent on two and four. One, Two, the one, two, three. Etc. Hi guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to know more about the course, Click on the link below.